What's up, SE Nation? Welcome back to another episode. How do we deal with the people who think their opportunity or their issue is the most important thing in the world? We, that happens a lot. We, we actually run into that as well as sales engineers when we work in support. Uh, an example, you're working with three sales managers, three account managers, and let's say one manager has a $10 million uh, quota, the other one has a $5 million quota, and the, the last one has a $3 million quota. Now, if you, get a, if you get a call from the last account manager and he asks you to work on this very important deal that's 50K, and you get a call from the first account manager that's asking you to work on a million dollar deal, which one's more important to you as a sales engineer? Obviously, it's the million dollar deal. But for the third account manager, his, his uh, opportunity is more important because he achieves more of his quota through that. So how do you prioritize and how do you let people down easily? Well, here's the thing. You can't let people down because both of these uh, deals are important. Every deal is important. Some are more important than others, obviously. The thing that you can do is delegate, see if you can push it out, uh, see if you can do both at the same time. Can you manage both? They're both important. And if you make people feel like their deals are important, they will, they are less inclined to uh, be, pa be pissed off at you. Even if you push something out, like, hey, your deal is important to me. I'm working on this, this, and that. Can I get to it at this day? Set the expectation. They might not always be happy, but at least you did your best to support them and provide them with a demo whenever needed. If you're the person on the other end, if you're the person, for example, you're opening a ticket with support for a customer, and this ticket is very important. Keep in mind there are some account managers in SEs that everything they touch is the most important thing in the world. For example, you're opening a ticket that is not affecting a customer, it's just something that he saw and noticed and he wants to track. It's not as important as something that's blocking. So when you're opening a ticket, if you do that, some, some SEs don't actually work with, uh, with support. The, the customers go directly to support. But if you are in my situation where a customer contacts me whenever they have an issue and I actually want them to contact me just so I can keep track and keep managing the situation, make sure that they're happy so they can continue to buy from us. When I, when I open the ticket with customers, not everything is critical or needs to be solved in that half day. There are different levels. If I keep crying wolf every time there's something bad happens, then it's going to lose its luster after a while. Everything you send me is important. And I don't generally escalate the situation until like it's been a while and I have heard and haven't heard anything. That's when I ask, like, this is somewhat important. Like, just tell me that you looked at it. Tell me that you saw it. Give me some information. As a support engineer, if you're if you have a ticket that you're not even responding to, it's just in your queue and you haven't even looked at it and you just didn't say, I'm taking a look. That's not really good form uh, either. So it's a two way street. If you're receiving uh, an important issue or an important opportunity that you need to work on, even if it's not actually as important as the account manager seems to think, treat it as somewhat important. Make sure that the customer, that the account manager knows that you care about it. And the worst thing that's happened to me is a support engineer telling me that, oh, everybody's issues are, everybody thinks their issues are important. Not everybody's issues are important. Everybody thinks that their issues are important. In which case I answered, I opened this ticket two months ago. Give me a freaking answer right now or I'm escalating, which I ended up doing. And that's something else that you can keep in mind. Uh, if you're working with support and you need to escalate, there are different ways of escalating through your SE manager or sales manager. They can escalate it down up to BU, whatever it is. Don't be afraid to do that if it is actually critical. If Again, if you escalate every single issue, People will stop trusting you. People won't care if you escalate anymore. Oh, that's Ramsey escalating again. That little rascal. He just doesn't know what's important and what's not. That that happens. That's happened to many people where everything's important. Everything's important. Oh, the customer sneezed. Go check in on him. Right? So keep that in mind. And uh, if the account manager is trying to force you to do it, an opportunity that's not as important as other ones, make sure you get your SE manager involved as well. If you can deal with it yourself, that's always the preferable way. You don't want to be pressuring or putting too much work on your SE manager. You're supposed to be taking work off them, especially if you want to move up. If you don't want to move up, then do whatever you want. Uh, <clears throat> uh, but if you want to be considered as a senior member of the team, you have to take care of some of it yourself. Some issues you cannot take care of. 
and the uh, SE manager has more visibility into other teammates. They could even provide somebody else to come and do the demo. It's not like you're telling them, hey, go talk to this guy, I don't want to work with him. No, you're telling them, like, hey, I need support, I need someone to help with this demo. And as SEs, if my colleague asks me for help, it's my job to help him. I get paid a big portion of my salary as a base, so it's my job to help other SEs. So what do you guys do when you get someone telling you this is the most important deal or most important issue in the world? Do you push back or do you just take it at face value and keep going or anywhere in between? I will see you guys tomorrow. Or, yeah, no, uh, like, share, subscribe and answer that question in the comments below. Peace.